G'day guys, Tim here again. I'm just about to embark on a pretty big mixing project with 90 tracks in it and I'm just setting up the uh, the buses for everything to go into. There's the effects one there, guitars, drums, keys and the last one to go in was the vocals so I thought oh there might be a few people that actually want to know an easy way of getting that all done and making it nice and simple. So here it is, this is Reaper and what we'll do is we'll just start a new track, nice and simple. So we'll call it Vox Bus and there we go so what I'll do is I'll grab all my tracks that I want so these are all the vocal tracks here and what we're going to do is just drop them in and drop them right in below that track that we've just made yes we want to bring them in as separate tracks and that'll work away doing its thing there okay so I'll line them all up to the beginning okie dokie so now we've got all of our vocal tracks underneath the bus. So what we want to do here is click this little folder icon, which turns into a plus when you hover the pointer over it. And that now says everything underneath these ones here is related to this track, okay? So this will ultimately become the overall master fader for everything in there. You can actually reduce the real estate space by clicking that little arrow there. And you can click it one more time and it will almost disappear. So there you go. Right, now that's step one. Now at the moment all of those tracks, as you can still see here on each of the individual voiceover tracks or voice tracks are, they're still assigned to the master bus. So what we want to do is come down to here, the routing matrix, and we want to assign those to make sure that they all go to the voiceover bus, okay, the Vox bus, the one that we've just created and not to the master, okay. So if we go and look here, there's our, there's our bus there, okay, so you can see that line there, that's the bus, so that's the only one that we want to go to the master, so ultimately we're going to take these ones all out, so they will no longer go to the master track, they will have to go via the bus that we've just created, so get rid of all of those, and then we have to actually send them. To where we want them to go so as you can see here for the keys we've got all the keys going that way so what we want to do with all of these tracks here we want to send them to our new bus that we just created okay so that's that one there so follow that line down start there and just pop them all in like that quite a few tracks in this one so it takes a little bit longer Okay, so we're now making sure that everything goes from that track, or those individual tracks, through to the bus. So let's get that one out of there. So now all that master's gone off and there's a send activated. If you look at each one of those, the send is, where is it going to tell you that it's going to? It's going to the, the Vox bus. So we know it's going to the right place. So just a quick little tip, guys, on how to route all your tracks to a master bus via... A subgroup bus and if you want to get really swanky well hey why not change the color as well vocals what will we have bright yellow something like that there we go let's try that kind of similar <laughs> hope that helps guys and uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want some more cheers